Hi, my name is Alberto Gomez. And I'm Kenan Sendi. I'm Andres Casas Novas. Jan Al Navani. We as a team performed an analysis and a simulation on a fine Italian restaurant. And it goes like this. The customers enter the restaurant and get seated by the receptionist. And they wait until the waitress comes to take the order. Then the waiter goes to the machine and inputs the, the order. And then after that, the order is received by the chef, where he's going to cook it. And after cooking, he'll take it to the counter, where the, another waitress is going to pick it up, and take it to the customer, and the customer is going to eat, and then leave. So in this, you can see it as having operations, where the people, as soon as they be seated and as soon as the waitress takes the order, that, that waiting time while the waitress asks for the order, that can be considered an operation. The time that it takes the operator or the waitress to um, record the data into the computer, into the software, that's another operation. The chef while cooking, that can be the third operation. And the, in the case of the waiting station, that's not an operation because there's no added value to the, to the product, whereas you can easily seen the others. An added value, the, the definition is that the input of the, the, the input is different from the output. So for instance, in this one, the first operation, the input will be the customer, and the output will be the actual order that the customer wants. And you can relate to it each and one of the operations. Okay, in this system, uh, we have identified four types of wastes, um, defects, waiting, space and motion. Uh, as you can see in this system, the, the, the organization of the system is a little cluttered, so uh, we transform the system into a, more of a linear kind of path, which will save us on space and will lower the motions by a lot. And uh, for the defects, I'll explain this through an example. For example, let's say the customer orders a pasta with shrimp and the first waitress will take the order to the counter and the, and the, um, the girl at the counter will transfer it to the chef and the chef will put it on the waiting station and then another waitress will take the order to the customer not knowing if it's the actual order. As in the new system, the order will be transferred to the counter and then to the chef and then the same waitress will be taking the order back to the customer. Sure. So she kind of knows what each table has. So like this, uh, we'll lower the defects by a lot. By having this improved system, um, we um, will increase the customer satisfaction by having a much lower waiting time. And we uh, will have more space for uh, more tables uh, since we removed the waiting station. And um, we'll have lower cycle times we'll, uh, and hence uh, higher throughput. And by having a um, a higher customer satisfaction will definitely increase uh, increase long-term profit because you'll get more better reviews, more customers. Um, since we weren't able to collect data, we uh, took more of a general approach and simulated a general model out of personal experience and general knowledge that can be applied to most of uh, the fine dining restaurants. From this assignment, we learned uh, that lean principles and uh, factory physics can apply can, can also be applied to services and it's not only limited to manufacturing processes and we actually learned how to apply them by by simulating the fine uh, Italian restaurant we talked about at the beginning and uh, yeah. so explaining what Kenan said um, it's pretty evident that every single system can be improved because according to lean manufacturing rules a loss like everything everything has waste um, in this example we only have four types of waste four out of the eight but in every it doesn't matter if it's like a service or like a restaurant or some other system it could always be improved according to six sigma and factor physics